Elena of Avalor. The Secret Spell Book. Today Princess Elena is going to make her friend Matteo the Royal Wizard of Avalor. Elena has invited guests from all over Avalor to attend the ceremony. As the crowd gets bigger, Matteo gets nervous. He accidentally drops his tamborita. What if I'm not good enough to be a royal wizard? Matteo asks. You're going to be great, Elena says, handing back his drum wand. After all, your grandfather was a royal wizard, too. While everyone is watching the ceremony, an evil wizard named Fiero sneaks into the castle. He is there to steal a secret spell book. Fiero prowls a back hallway, searching for the spell book. A guard sees him. Halt! He shouts. But Fiero draws his tamborita and turns the guard into a statue. The guests in the ballroom hear the commotion. Fiero thinks they might try to stop him. So he turns them all into statues. When Matteo sees Fiero, he recognizes him. Before Fiero can turn his friends into statues, Matteo casts a spell to protect them. Matteo knows Fiero is searching for the spell book. We must find the spell book before he does. Matteo tells his friends. Matteo takes out his grandfather's journal. It says here the spell book is hidden somewhere in the palace. Suddenly, three clues to three keys magically appear on the page. The first clue leads them to a grandfather clock. When Elena moves the clock hands, a hidden drawer opens. There's a key inside. The second clue takes them to the music room. As Gabe plays the piano, a secret compartment pops open. I found the second key. He exclaims. The third clue leads them to a painting of Avalor Bay. Matteo finds the last key hidden in the picture frame. Matteo looks closely at the painting. Those weird little caves look like keyholes, he says. They insert the keys into the painting, and it swings open. Behind the painting, they find a magical wizard's workshop. Look! The secret spell book is inside, says Matteo. I'll take that, says someone behind them. It's Fiero. Fiero zaps the spell book with his tamborita, and it flies right into his hands. Gabe and Naomi try to grab the book from Fiero. But the evil wizard turns them into statues. Then Fiero aims his tamborita at Princess Elena. Matteo! Elena shouts. You can beat him. Matteo will not let Fiero hurt Princess Elena. No. He yells angrily. Matteo bangs his tamborita and shouts a spell. It blocks Fiero's curse and sends him flying through the door. Fiero can't believe Matteo had the power to stop him. But I still have what I came for, he says, running away with the spell book. I'm going after Fiero, Matteo says, giving Elena a bottle of magic potion. She uses it to unfreeze Gabe and Naomi. Matteo chases Fiero through the castle and into the courtyard. Fiero aims his tamborita and fires a magic curse at Matteo. But Matteo blocks the curse with another spell. Fiero's own curse bounces back at him, turning him into a statue. Just then, Elena, Naomi, and Gabe race out of the castle to join Matteo. You did it, Matteo. Elena cries happily. Matteo shrugs. I guess I did. He says. They run back to the ballroom. Matteo blasts the bottle of magic potion with his tamborita. The potion showers down on the guests, unfreezing them all. I'm proud of you, Matteo, says Elena. You stopped Fiero and saved the secret spell book. Matteo blushes. You believed in me when I didn't even believe in myself, he says. Thank you. Then the new royal wizard treats everyone to a magical fireworks show. Thank you.